Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool talk, I'm gonna talk about my new favorite screwdriver. You know, from as far back as I can remember, I have been using Klein screwdrivers and I'll continue to use them because I still love them. So this isn't a, a knock on any of these screwdrivers, you know, but I love this rubberized handle, you know, that Klein Tools has on all their screwdrivers. It's cushiony, it still has texture. Uh, you can get really good torque with these. I really like them a lot. And again, they'll, they'll always probably be a staple for me just because it's so used, it's so much what I'm used to using. I, I also remember going all the way back to, you know, these handles here, what I call, you know, my dad handle screwdrivers. You know, these are all, whenever I was a kid, this is what most screwdrivers uh, kind of look like. And they're still, you know, good handles and everything like that. They clean real easy. You can get all kinds of different colors and, and things like that. And then also, you know, I bought some DeWalt ones a long time ago because they were similar looking to the climb, but I really like the labeling on those. But the grip is really kind of slick and I didn't care for that too much. So they kind of hang out in my garage. Uh, I don't use them in the field or anything like that. But over the course of watching YouTube videos and, and seeing different people making, you know, comments on my videos, comments on other people's videos, I always read those as well. Uh, I had come to find out I like a lot of other screwdrivers and Vera was the next one in line of whenever I bought these I would have never known anything about these unless watching through YouTube because there's zero stores around me that carry these in person so I would have never known about them and I really really like these I love the handles they they just kind of form to your hand it's like you it's like you squeezed a stress ball in the shape that it would be before it expands back out that's what it is. The tips are amazing on these screwdrivers. Uh, I really, really like these, uh, but they pretty much are all dedicated screwdrivers or the only ones I have. I've been back and forth. I kind of want to buy that one that's got the push button with the bits in it. And then it also has the Rapidor or whatever. I've seen mixed reviews on that where some people say that it breaks real easy. Some people say it doesn't, but I'd actually like to get one of those and try it if I thought it was going to work well. I think I might swap my super screwdriver from the Klein handle to that handle, possibly. But it just depends on how it would hold up. The reviews are kind of mixed. So if you've got that, uh, let me know in the comments below how well it's been holding up for you. But again, with this screwdriver, even though it's completely different than a Klein, you know, it's nowhere kind of even remotely the same thing it still is in a way you know you still have kind of the same size handle at least it's hand size you got your shaft you got your bits all those things like that but i really really have come to like these and it's i kind of run a mix between klein and vera for the most part well then i also in a tool haul video not too long ago i mentioned i got this vessel screwdriver Saw this on Last Best Tool, but this isn't the first vessel screwdriver that I bought. I bought one a while back, and I only bought it really to get a bit. I needed a JIS bit for my wife's rotors on her Honda car. So I saw this screwdriver. It came with some bits, so I went ahead and bought it. But I didn't really care for the, the feel of this. It's more so the weight. I love the texture and everything on it. I didn't like this. It felt really plasticky. just seemed like it was pretty chintzy. So it's just kind of set in my garage. I never really used it other than taking the uh, rotors off my wife's car and I pretty much only used the bit. Well, then I got this ratcheting screwdriver after seeing it on Last Best Tool. Uh, it's the one that's got the stubby inside the handle and then you they sell different blades like this that you can change out. And even though I'm not really a big fan of ratcheting screwdrivers, uh, and I know that that's probably different than most people. I just, I just not never been a big fan. You know, if I'm going to do a lot of tightening and then, or just a lot of loosening, one or the other, I don't mind them. But if I, I don't like the switching back and forth, and sometimes, even with this one, you know, you'll accidentally bump it the other way, and you'll sit there and go, and it's just a whole ordeal. I don't like messing with it a lot of times, and I think it's just muscle memory for me because I'm not used to using one that I'd typically go the other route, but. Anyways, with all that's being said, as I got this screwdriver, I like it so much that, I mean, I leave it in my bag and anytime I'm using Phillips too, this is the one that I use because I actually prefer this screwdriver as far as the handle over every screwdriver that I've ever used. I like being able to just grab right here with this textured part here 
really small stuff. I can just sit there and spin this around like this real loose in my hand. I can also put the ball into my hand like that and I can get, you know, really good grip by holding this and having this in my hand. I can grab it like this and get significant amount of torque. It's also got some thumb places there. But again, I'm stuck with it's dedicated screwdriver. I only have it in Phillips 2. But then I just found something the other day, ordered it, got it, and it's going to be the, the thing that changes it all for me, I believe. And that is right here. It's the vessel, and this is the part number on this. It is 230W-2. And if you read this right here on the package, it actually says really good screwdriver. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what that says. Maybe one of you out there knows what that says. You can let us know in the comments below. But this one is one of their tang through is what they call it. But I would call it, it's, you know, basically a strike where you can actually hit it with a hammer if you want to. So that fixed the whole problem with me of, I just felt like this end was really chintzy. It just feels like a kid's plastic toy or something like that. This is solid. I mean, it's metal. It's real, it's real nice looking. See if I can get that glare from my lights off there it says vessel on there the weight difference is significantly better than this one because like i said this one just felt like a a kid's screwdriver to me this one feels like it is hefty it's 0.2 pounds i don't have anything that weighs ounces or anything here at my house but this will take any bit the same as this one would as well but i could put any of these bits that they had in that other one i could put those in here so you could any standard bit that's quarter inch you can put that in here it comes it came with the phillips too uh, but again i'm not even worried about the bits because my plan is i'm going to use all my driver bits and put them in here so now whether it's a ecx bit whether it's a torx bit a security bit a robertson square whatever it is you name it some of my you know ball end uh allen key things out of my bit railer sets or any other bit that i have in my bit railers i can put those in here so i've got this long adapter gives me that long shaft i can put in a short adapter give myself a short one i could come over here grab my malcos out have a nut driver uh also have the flip socket i could put that in here uh, it goes on and on so now I got the ability to have this ball handle of mine, but I can use it for anything. Uh, Cause again, mostly all they have is dedicated screwdrivers or they have them that come with various bits like this that are double ended or something like that. But I pretty much bought this for the handle. And this handle is nice to me. The weight of it's great. It feels nice. I'm gonna be able to have the, the ball that I like and all those things that go along with it. but. You guys let me know below this is this vessel screwdriver now that i've been using that one has come to be the one i grab all the time it used to be it was a battle between klein and vera all the time and most of the time it just depended upon what screwdriver i was using like because most of these were dedicated so i would use these on those particular fasteners and then i'd use my klein for what i'm pretty much going to be using this for but i think this is going to come out of my bag quite a bit so let me know in the comments below if you have any vessel screwdrivers what you think about them or if you think that they look like something that you might would use or not use uh, let me know what your favorite screwdriver is maybe it's something besides klein or vera or vessel i'm always interested to to hear those suggestions as well maybe there's another screwdriver out there that i'm missing out on that i need to know about but hope that this was interesting check out vessel if you haven't yet you know find you one try it out it's worth trying the ball it's not going to be for everybody you know just like vera is not going to be for everybody because you're so used to something else but i think if you give it an honest try you're going to think about many applications where the feel of this is going to be is going to be nice for you so let me know in the comments below hope you stay safe and have a blessed day see you on the next video